Hey everyone, Rob J here and welcome to the Nova. Today we're going to be looking at ghouls and ghosts on the Sega Genesis. In this video, I'm going to walk you through level 1. I will also cover how to beat the Statue of Terror, also known as Shielder, on both practice and professional mode. So without further ado, let's make this boss an easy boss fight. Even more so. <laughs> Check it out. I highly recommend that you play in practice mode first. This will allow you to understand the mechanics of the game and how to control Arthur. This game is not beginner friendly. I want you to remember while playing this game is what I said in my Super Ghouls and Ghosts video. Be patient, be observant, and don't give up. Something you're going to notice throughout both playthroughs is that I'm barely opening chests. The chests I avoid have magicians in them, which can turn you into either a duck or an old man. Another thing you might notice is that I'm using the lance. In the Sega Genesis version, the game power-ups have a much lower drop rate. This means you cannot rely on getting an axe, torch, dagger, discus, or sword as often as you would like. The hill is the hardest part of the level. During this section, there are two common enemies, the vines that grow directly in your path and the flowers that shoot three falling skulls. The pigmen are difficult at both difficulties. Stay back and hit them from a distance. Watch out for their jump attack. Get close and start throwing your lance roughly about eight to nine times. Then back off a bit so you can be under his head and finish him off. After you've practiced a lot, <laughs> you may want to attempt professional mode. The biggest changes in professional mode is there are more enemy spawns, they take more damage, and they're a bit faster. The tornado demons will be the same as practice mode, either dodge or jump over them. This hill is going to be your worst nightmare in professional mode, as the vines are going to spawn more frequently, and the flowers, well, they're going to be just as annoying since they take two hits now. It is even more important to be cautious of the pigmen this time around. Remember to stay back and attack. Watch out for their jump attack. Unlike in practice mode, it is unlikely you will kill them before they execute a jump attack. Get close and start throwing your lance roughly eight to nine times and head back to the beginning of the boss area. From there, just jump and throw your lance. You can hit the boss off screen. I'm not close to the boss because I find Shielder a bit quicker in professional mode. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for another easy boss fight. Remember, if you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Rob J. Thank you for entering the Nova and I'll see you next time. Take care.